Bye, Felicia. All week long. There it is. Order in the court. Listen, it may uh, feel like a holiday. We got work to do. The game never ends, Creed. When you're in this grind, this hustle, this movement, no matter what, if you need to get with us, you got to HML us. That's right. HML. We learned that this week. Uh, our friend Knox, he uh, he may have to have two in his lifetime because he was so young when he got his first hip replacement. <laughs> He walks so well, too, right now. He's doing some of the best waddling of his life. Uh, Creed, cases, we're looking at them from across this great land. Right before the Thanksgiving holiday, we we talk about it sometimes. Are people going to be asking to leave and get out of jail because it's the holiday tomorrow? We're going to run into some of that? I believe we're going to see some of that today. No doubt about that. Iowa golfer Lisa, not a vampire, getting today uh, kicked off in the two for Appreciate you. Hell guy, we say hello. Hello. All right, so we're starting here where it looks like we're watching a VCR. Keep in mind, their timer still broke. Uh, that's, uh, it's live. I promise you that. Hey, you. Uh, I like that. Uh, the old VCR clock is still wrong. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're still trying to figure out how to update it. Maybe by 2024, they'll, uh, they'll figure it out. Damn it. Awesome. All right, let's jump into this. And uh, not our friend Knox, but that uh, place in the United States that provides some amazing stuff. You know, that jail. We'll mm-hmm. go there uh, in a little bit, but let's uh, jump in here and see what's going on. Other than some typing. Did you hear that, Miss Arlen? Oh, he's a little yeah, low, huh? Well, and she has broken the time continuum. The matrix mm-hmm. is broke. All right. All right. So I've reviewed the history there's certainly some history here um i'm really happy to hear miss harlan that you're getting into the before. that's a really really great program so i hope you take full advantage of that opportunity oh thank you hector um certainly in the spirit of that miss harlan i'm going to go ahead and i'll follow this agreed recommendation it seems appropriate given the overall circumstances so um, very maxed up over here creed sentencing on the uh yeah proven mr anderson was this intimate partner or family or household member? yes i said they had been boyfriend girlfriend but uh, uh, this uh must be some dv action okay uh very good so the sentence will be as follows Ms. beat up for the holidays four days suspending 349 so 15 days credit for any time previously served a five thousand dollar fine suspending forty seven hundred dollars so three hundred dollars would be owed it will be 24 uh, months. There. Why not just give her a $300 fine then if we're going to do that? That's so stupid. I know. I don't like go, that. Ma'am. Uh, as far as the $300 given time, did you make payments on that? Yes. All right. I'll go ahead Heck and yeah. An indigency waive any non-mandatory legal. Yeah, we, we, we enjoy the but subs. Yeah, $300, ma'am. Um, can I do 10? 10 is just fine. Set the payments at $10 per month. Oh my God. Wow. We're. Leave right. me. And as far as those conditions of probation, ma'am, uh, just licking of them. So let's walk through them first. The most basic one of all: no new criminal law violations. So don't pick up no small people. bottles of water. Hey, Petro. Petro, how are uh, you, friend? Uh, it's not I eat for the moment. Are you, are you oh. eating the spaghetti? We love it when you eat the spaghetti. Good to see you. We'll be back someday. Well, it's not over. Really. Just been a busy time of yes, year. My guy didn't say this. I like this court, but it is so low. It it got lower. Uh, yeah. So we can find something better. That's uh, what I'm thinking. It's I got her cranked up and I, on and on the board. Yeah. Let's jump over to Knox. Let's do that. All and, right, go uh, ahead. Let's uh, head over here where we're finding out in. that this lady uh, can't see the uh, magistrate yet. Yeah. She's, She's got to walk on and by. She's got to come back. Yes, well, I sure was there. In French. Beautiful, huh? I think it says French. 
What's your name? Dude's in a good mood today. What's, over there. Just so what's your first name? Hey, yeah, beautiful hair. Bring this up. By the way, this arraignment, 4 o'clock in the morning. Hey, Miss Weston, you've been charged with theft. No kidding. Property or services yeah. value it says 11, but it posted at 4. That'd be a Class E felony if convicted. You've also been charged with a uh, violation of the sex offender registration form. No. Oh. What? This lady? Oh, boy. I mean, I understand the first one, you know, theft of property over a thousand dollars, but she it came in hot with that charge. It's just uh not filling out the form or providing information, I believe is what that offense is. That'd be How long she been on that registry convicted. And you've been charged with identity theft. That would be a class D felony if convicted. You understand what you're charged with? Stealing identities and being a vampire. I got two different last names, sir. Huh? Two different last names. That's it. Is that a real thing? I mean, ladies, are you allowed? I mean, I understand you get married, you change your name, but you, you really don't go by the old name in everyday life. Right. You kind of pick one, right? I mean, maybe we're talking a clerical error here. I have two names. Married. One of them names isn't a registered sex offender. Possible. Would you like me to read the allegations? I mean, I'm not, I'm not understanding that yeah. because I have a head injury. But that's, that's oh. not. Whoa. Oh, my God. This is the gift that keeps on giving, Creed. No. Uh, no. <laughs> all right. Well. Your Honor, I have, a, I have a very bad head injury. I have to wear this medical wig. To you as to, well, Mavis. To protect my head from further injury. I, I just don't understand. Is she going to use the uh, Thanksgiving <laughs> thing right off the bat? Like, we're going to get our first God, one. I hope so. All right. So, uh, theft over a thousand, unregistered sex offender. Identity theft. Claim she has two names, and now we're going with the, oh that old chestnut of a head injury, Your Honor. I mean, she's she's got a long list of uh, reasons why she should be let out. <laughs> I got a head injury, and I don't know if this works into place, but I got a very bad yeast infection. Not fair for him to do that to me. Would you like me to read the And I had I had on an ankle bracelet, letting him know. I'm not my daughter or any one of my other kids. How could that police officer even much write out a statement like that, though? Hey, Gary. Other than that okay. Now she's really grasping at strolls. I mean, I'm not saying this young lady looks like a very old woman. But I don't think we're confusing her with children she could have. I mean, and what was the thing about she's wearing an ankle monitor? Yeah, so she's already, uh, you know. Well, we know why. Wink, wink, nod, nod. But. By the way, I so do they just do these all night? I, I That's absolutely crazy. All that, through, I guess there's like, I guess if they start packing them up, it's time yeah, to, to, to knock care. them out. Ah, damn, that's crazy. Oh, Christy, just in time. Christy, Gary, I saw Gary was here. I, all right, now we we're supposed to think she's passing. I thought this was your sister, not your mother. That you can go ahead with what's going on. And okay, do you want me to read the allegations? What yes. Excuse me of doing. For God's it? sakes, yes. No, sir. Oh. Hey, yes, oh. What I'm saying, go over the first is that you have the right to remain silent. No one can force you to make any statements, and that you make voluntarily can be used against you. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, I can appoint one for you. And you have the right to a preliminary hearing, that is a probable cause hearing, where the judge will hear the evidence against you and decide whether this case is strong enough to be bound by the grand jury for further prosecution. You understand those rights? Would you like me to appoint an attorney to represent you? 
She does, yeah, and that's nice somewhat rare of. over here some days. Make sure you qualify as well as to set your... But she's doing that mouth thing well, that we learned. Well, set your bonds, so you raise your right hand, be sworn in. Didn't, didn't, when we watch doorbell news, the guy comes on, he's like, With yeah, we know here. what's going on now. We see that mouth. That right there, that's the Bobby Brown mouth. That's right. When Bobby Brown, anytime you look at Bobby Brown, he's got that same look. He's got his mouth hanging open. He's grinding his teeth. Not dealing with Bobby Brown mouth. This is the uniform affidavit indigency that you filled out of the jail. You swear or affirm that everything you filled out on this form, any testimony you give is true and accurate? Correct, sir. Thank you. She got a P. You have a job? No, sir. Any property, house, or college you own? No, sir. You got a forms of income or of assets? No, sir. Live in Knoxville? Um, I'm supposed to be transferring back to Knoxville. That's the reason why. She's a transfer the student. The is on me. I lived in Clinton, Tennessee, 141 Sunset Road, which I put that back on there. Because that's <laughs> where I live at. That's <laughs> where I was just saying before you came, before they picked me up in Knoxville, before I was arrested. I was saying. Don't I'm stop now. I'm getting excited. Oh, my goodness. I'm staying at 141 Sunset Road, apartment four, Clinton, Tennessee. Area code. I'm still staying there, sir. Got that zip. But right now I'm resident at your jailhouse right now. I'm a resident. <laughs> I'm a resident at the jailhouse. I don't know what to do or where to go. Cell 242, Your Honor. That's where I get my mail. <laughs> I'm arrested. I've never heard it put that way. Um, no. Came and told me that I had to transfer back to Knoxville. I had to have an address. My family is working on it. I'd love to hear her past record that she got, how she got on the. Uh, I I wish she would have said yes. The sex offender list. I mean, that's uh, those other charges are nothing. I mean, those happen. But that one, that one's a big, big one that you never lived down. Bobby Tate is who I'm seeing with. I'm Bobby. Bobby I'm Tate. Guessing she's got a lot going on, considering he's very focused and clicking through a lot. Typically, that means she has quite the uh, extensive record. Yeah. Also, if she's sometimes when you've been seen before in a jail. And you're going to get a public defender to kind of try to pair you back up with a, mm -hmm. a public defender. Maybe that's familiar with you and your situation. Hello, Alan. And uh, oh, buddy, buddy. there's Ed, though. No, I love the hair. The I hair saw that there, Ed Harris. Thank you for bringing up Dolly Parton. I saw that there's going to be a Dolly Parton Christmas special. And she's wearing like skin tight, like body suits in it. Oh wow! Yeah, her body's a number one, man. She's she kept that thing tight as a drum. No kids, no problem. Her face pulled back pretty tight too. She's had renovations on her face. Renovations. Please, guys, we got a second. Like this video helps us out tremendously. Uh, don't forget, today's our uh, last uh, day. We'll be back uh, full force on Monday. Might have something for the weekend. Also popping in and out on Thursday. Oh, she's sleepy. And uh, here and there, uh, since Emily and I will be down at the beach, uh, might pop on, do something live. I don't know. We'll Maybe I'll even pop on while I'm eating my delicious Thanksgiving meal. Man, I love to eat. These biscuits. Hey! Dolly is. Uh, as a matter of fact, we spent uh, a wonderful day at Dollywood last year during the Okay, holiday. I'm going to set the bond on the sex offender registration form violation at $1,000. Ah. On the identity theft at $1,500, and I'm going to ROR the theft. So Thank you. I would just so I can say I was with Dolly Parton. That's a, a street cred. Right? 
Oh, I can walk into Damn, any country western bar in America. On Monday, America. That's November 28th. Get a free beer on that. A bond review. So if you are unable to post these bonds, the judge can consider reducing them at that time. If you do post them, they will give you a different court date to go to when you're being released. Go to that one instead. And learn something every day. As soon as that's done printing out, I will get you an attorney. Can it be the same one? Yes. I remember going to see Probably nine to one. five at the movies as a kid. Oh. oh my goodness. I thought like I'd br been brought to an adult film. It's like, my God. Dolly Parton is blessed. A lot of clicking going on there. Yeah. And that's typical when somebody has. So it looks like you are represented by Dylan Zenser. In Dylan. Another case. And I will. Point Mr. Zenser to yeah, represent because they were always singing well. together, right? I'm going to waive the administrative fee that's normally assessed for the appointment of counsel because it's already been assessed in a pending case. I think it's a gentle reminder. Number is 450 333. Somebody made a comment. Try and get a hold of him. That video said birthday. my birthday's also on the 30th. And I died laughing. Monday. I just died laughing. Let me see I think you Detox. might actually have some attachments. Uh, by the way, we finally creed. We, I, I'm going to say this right now real quick. When we had the, the case going on uh, with LaToya and Keisha coming on, and we brought in a whole new big audience. He's very old. Very old. Oh, I, I said it was a child. It's a child, right? Um, we've had nothing but positive things in the chat. People, you know, really, really good folks coming through. Oh, Last yeah. night, Creed, we had our first, our first bad comment on there. Uh, I believe it was something along the lines, uh, watch this, then flag these hillbillies. <laughs> <laughs> is that really negative? I'm, that's all right with me. Flag these hillbillies. And I just gently returned and said, look, there are very little hills around here. It's very flat here by the beach. <laughs> that's funny. Then flag these hillbillies. Flag these hillbillies. Flag them. Before, before you go flag. on, I think you have some attachments. Hillbillies. <laughs> that's a good oh. question. I did I, we've seen people get arrested in a video, and then the next time they appeared in court on the next day, they'd be, they would have no hair. That's true, yeah. yeah. Hey, Jenny, so, thank you to you as well. Maybe it's maybe it's not a, a wig. Maybe I don't know. Maybe she's had okay, hair. So you implant. have two attachments that were issued on August twelfth. For failure to appear in court, they were issued in a drug paraphernalia and a simple possession case. A lot of people did, and we appreciate it. Bond for each. You understand what's going on there? Yeah, I'm going to set, set those with your other cases on Monday. I live by the beach. I, I, I grew up on the coast. And that's all I have for you. Uh, by the way, somebody asked uh, how old I was. I will be 50 in March, Creed. That's right. 50-50. 50-50, the big 5-0. Halfway through this journey on this planet. Uh-oh, hurt hand. Oh, what happened to your hand? I hope it happened from a fight. At least Hillbilly's got the princess delivered. <laughs> Look, we've been called gay boys. We've been called hillbillies. Hey, gay boys. It'll never end. It'll never end. <laughs> we had that Turd Duncan. Last time we saw somebody with a with a bandaged up hand like this, I'm trying to remember what it was. Um, they got into like a scuffle with the cops. 
hurt their hand. I, I get stuff from AARP all the time for like years now. Oh, she's gonna is she get nude? Oh, I thought she was gonna take that off for a second. Is T here? T T can we get a call on this? I'd like a ruling. Looks like a fighter. Does that help? That bandaged up hand and that faux hawk tells us this lady likes to rumble. We're not sure yet, Kurt. Yes, sure this is wait. a worming. What's your name? Samantha French. Oh, she's, hey, oh, she's got such a sweet voice. Yeah. I'll let her know. I hope she's not into drugs, Creed. I hope this young lady has not messed up her life. Well, Miss Toby, that's one thing we always love to do is uh, try to guess what everybody's in for. Every once in a while, we'll wouldn't we'll it every once in a while. Yeah, it's kind of a game show. If you're ever wondering uh, over here in this jailhouse in Knox County, Tennessee, and I know what you're thinking, Mikey, isn't that? Uh, isn't that Kane from WWE, <laughs> mayor of Knox County? You're right. He is. Pamela, I am oh. much, much, much younger. Okay, Miss French, you've been charged with the oh, manufacturer, man. delivery, sale, or possession with intent to manufacture, deliver, or sell methamphetamine in oh. oh, no. than half a gram, Fetterman. as well as a Schedule 5 controlled substance. A methamphetamine case would be a class B felony if convicted. The schedule five case you would be every a time. class E felony if he heard they convicted as charged. You've also been charged with simple possession of casual exchange of some other controlled substance. That'd be a class A misdemeanor convicted. A mystery substance? And you've been charged with drug paraphernalia. That'd be a been class with a, a misdemeanor substance? convicted. And you've been charged with possession of a prescription drug without a prescription that'd be a class c misdemeanor convicted or girlfriend you understand yeah. what you're charged with which is fine yes sir i do would you like me to read the allegations yes no you don't have to read the allegations sir okay you have, got right such a sweet the voice, uh, you have the right to remain silent uh, no she's going to end up with all that and that you meth. voluntarily can be used against you you have the right to an attorney if you cannot afford one i can appoint one for you and you have the right to a preliminary Preliminary hearing, hey, a probable cause hearing with a judge with the evidence against you oh. and decide whether this case is strong enough to be bound over the grand jury for further prosecution. You understand those rights? Yes, sir, I do. Like she must be new to the meth game. You? She isn't our mm -hmm. typical meth person. Um, yeah, yeah, um, no, because they have caused some extra. And my, I, under, I understand my charges. That, okay, that I'll take that back. Against me. I don't know. Well, an attorney, <laughs> oh, how much is an attorney here? Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, well, you can hire did. one, or I can, if you cannot afford one, I can appoint one. Look. Uh, yeah, I Fudge and thank you for the gay boys dueling banjo fund. Bless her heart, Green. She just said, How much is a lawyer here? She doesn't have a, a job, obviously. I, I don't know how much is a how much is a lawyer here. How much are they going for these days over here in Knox County? Bless her heart. I don't mind you pointing a training towards me. Or a, a lawyer. I don't have money for lawyers. So. Okay, I'd ask you some questions on oath. Make sure you qualify as well as the same. Uh, real quick as well, Creed. Over on the side there, that's a transcription of what's being said. It tries to transcribe it the best yeah, it well, can. They're uh, he asked her, uh, would you like me to appoint an attorney to represent you? She came back with, um, yeah, yeah, um, no, no, because they have cost extra and mine. Uh, I don't, I under, under my understand churches. <laughs> that they'll, they're all together against me. Yeah. I don't. Well, in the Trinity, how much is an attorney here? That's your bonds. You raise right hand. We swore in. And so this is the uniform affidavit of indigency that you filled out of the jail. You swear oh, yeah. and affirm that everything you filled out. On I got it form. all. What can I ask? Testimony you gave us true and accurate. Yes, sir. 
Thank you. You have a job? I have a believe, right? No, sir. No? A property, a house, or car that you own? I think. Uh, um, I have a phone missing, missing in the property. That's about it. She owns a phone. Dakaris? Did she just claim her phone? Uh, by the way, it transcribed that as, uh, I have a phone missing, missing property. That's about it. The Knoxville? Yes, sir. Oh, you I, don't have a, I don't have an address. I have only lived here for a couple months, like one or two months. You Most people you? move places and <laughs> don't have addresses for months at a How time. How long did you live there? Uh, about three, uh, ever since I was 18 years old. Hey, Shanta. <laughs> Shanta, oh, almost that. turkey day indeed. Uh, Good to see you. So I'm 22, but about three years from now. Okay. So if you were to say where you were from, where would that be? Uh, I'm from McCall, Idaho. I came from Council. Mayor? She is all over the place. He asked yeah, her how long it. she'd lived there. She said about three. And then she says, since I was 18. And then he says, uh, how long is that? She said, so 22, but but three years from now. Well, I came from Boise, but we call Idaho. You have family here in this area? G. Stephen O'Neill. Uh, no, sir. I don't have family here in this area. I wish I did. Oh, you should have went. Well, Why'd you come you... here then in the first place, Creed? Are you about to vouch your liability to show up in court? Knowledge. Yes, I'm, I'll be able to show up in court. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good uh, group of candidates. <laughs> today. I, I, this is... Uh... <laughs> In case you miss what she just they just said. He says, Is there anyone that can vouch for you coming back and showing up for court? She says, Yes, I'll be able to come back and show up for court. <laughs> She's a young entrepreneur, decided to move down here with no address, no family. Let's yeah, do Hunter, it. I'm pretty sure. Oh, let's oh, get there's this D. We, we were asking for you. We needed a uh... I saw she was kind of itchy and scratchy too around the midsection. That made me worry a little. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll be here. <laughs> Don't you worry, sir. I'm not one to pick up and move to somewhere. I have no family, no ties, and no place to live. <laughs> Let's get what do you think? She got a long record or is she kind of new? I think she's new. She, she says she's 22. So, but for her to just leave Ohio and go to Tennessee. Hey, Shells, you can uh, head on to Tennessee and uh, get yourself a new roommate there. Knox County will take you. You don't need an address. You don't need any family. Underbreasted sweat. Look, I didn't ask you what are your favorite things. No. I said yes. T, I hope you're doing well. That's what T wants for Christmas. Under breath sweat. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's having to he might be having a hard time finding a public defender. Oh maybe. Uh, my one son is looking into a career working at the local jail, which he'll probably get more than likely. Um, he said that yeah, right I'm now. Set the bond on the methamphetamine case. Fetamin. Fetamin. At five thousand dollars. Ooh. And then on the Schedule Five case at one thousand dollars. So six thousand total. Well, and we know where her new address is going to be. Else, those are the only bonds you'll have to post. She's I'm going to. 
No property, no family. No job. Mayor, thank you. Set this in felony court on Monday, November 28th. But if you were unable to post these bonds, the judge can consider reducing them at that time. If you do post them, they will give you a different court date to go to and be released. Go to that one instead. As soon as that's done, press, I'll get you a attorney. Chris. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Mikey, when we get done uh, with her, mm -hmm. I got something to uh, jump over to uh, here. For, uh, here Sounds good. Talk, uh, I, do people that typically sell drugs ever save money for instances like this? Uh, sure. Some people, if you're really good at it, yeah. If you're not that good at it. But, I mean, if you're going to sell something like the drugs, is it really that hard? JG, we don't know. I, she's the second person to say, no, don't read them to me, unfortunately. I mean, is there ever a case where somebody's like, man, I, I want to sell these drugs. Look at all these drugs, man. I can't sell a damn one of them. I'm sitting here on all these drugs and got a soul to sell them to. I really messed up opening this uh this drug business. So what am I doing with all these drugs? Yeah, I'm going to appoint an attorney named Douglas Fennin. Right. It is. Uh, it is. Every there time is it a pops fifty dollar fee for the appointment of counsel. That needs to be paid in general session court clerk's office on or before. You, you're not December getting that fifty dollars. But if you're unable to post pay by that time, they will add up your court costs in conclusion case. Mr. Fennin's telephone number is two two nine six seven four nine. Mr. Fenneman. Try and get a hold of him prior to your court date. Which, if you don't post the bond, will be on. Actually, good Monday. point, Chris. <laughs> good point. Okay. You're making that kind of money. So, yeah. what, when is my court date? Monday. November. Monday. Uh, November 28th. Okay, thank you. You'll be eating. And today, so it's five days. Uh, does does gel days? change your creed? Yes. yes, it does. That was uh, a before and after shot here? right there. Um, Did you see him just move to the left? That's my apologies. Slide to the, the left. Uh, Union two control Never mind. Keep told it here. They were done with arraignment. So he messed up. Back out the wait. jailer messed up. Right, give me a second. I'll send the by. Uh, but yeah, my and son. Yeah, you know, he's you. like, I'll probably be able to get a job. I'm pretty sure of it. I said, Well, right. do they need help? He said, Well, they're supposed to have 40 people on staff at the jail. They have 14. Oh, wow. How long have you been in custody? Two days. Nah, I was supposed to have started. an arraignment. At midnight last night, but uh, they were busy. That was I don't have any forms from last up. night. So I... Yeah, this, this lady, we... Okay, so Before, let's jump to yours because I know Crystal that they're going to... They're going to spend 25 minutes trying to find this lady stuff so what we're going to do is we're going to jump to yours and when we come back we're going to have those uh the men folks well i wanted to get back <laughs> I, I don't think anything's going on i just uh, i just love looking at his uh his head i guess we're just hanging out not even any not even any core we're just taking a little nappy poo or are we looking at his phone i can't tell Cree, not a worry in the world in his phone he's on tinder Oh, he's a judge. He's uh, he wields a mighty sword in and out of the bedroom. <laughs> well, uh, I guess then we'll go back to uh, Hello, Knox Paul County. John. Needs a rest. <laughs> it was our friends, Barry Murray. We'll keep an eye on uh, what's going on over there. Um, I will BRB while we get ready for the men. Something. Right. Come up here first. We'll do you first. You have a seat. Just about a week. Hernandez. 
Douglas Hernandez. Yes, sir. He's our award. He's our award, so yeah. we don't even need him. Yeah. All right. You're Hernandez, right? Yes. Okay. Wow, Hernandez just won the lottery. I was going to say, this guy really doesn't look like a Hernandez. What's your name, sir? Christensen. Be with you in a second. Okay. 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 This guy's seen better days, it looks like. Look, if I knew the top of my head was going to be on screen all the time, and I knew I had a Huge bald area. I probably put something over. Just say. By the way, while everybody's waiting for the the charges to drop, get your guesses in and like the video, leave a comment. Yada yada yada. I was thinking he kind of looked like that too earlier, but I could not think of a movie that I could I could put him in. Only movie I could think of that has that guy in it that's in Princess Bride is the uh, he's the blackjack dealer on Vegas Vacation. Him and Clark W. Griswold. Uh, he's probably twenty five, but looks fifty five. Mr. Christensen, you've been charged with being a fugitive from justice. This is mm -hmm. relate, uh, related to matters out of the Commonwealth of Virginia. I'm not asking whether you agree with this, but you are what this is about. Long way from uh, Virginia. You uh, currently are being held without bond. Your bond will be addressed in court with the judge. You have, I need to go over your rights. You have the right it's to remain easy. silent. On, uh, no one YouTube. can force you to say anything about this charge. If you give up that right, anything you do say may be used against you Could in be. court. If you give, um, you have the right to have an attorney represent you. If you cannot afford one, I can appoint one to represent you. And you have the right to have what's called an extradition hearing in this matter. That's a hearing where the state of Tennessee would have to show by sufficient evidence that you are the Joshua Christ Christensen, that the Commonwealth of Virginia is seeking to extradite. So the only issue Virginia, back. that Tennessee cares about is your identity, whether you're the same person that Virginia is looking for. You understand those rights? Yes. Can you raise your right hand for me, please? And you swear for me the answers you gave on your affidavit. See, we're not going to get to find out because he's got to go back to Virginia. Hey, he's just excited somebody wants him. Just Virginia, doesn't matter who it is. Uh, I'm appointing the Knox County Public Defender's Office to represent you. Be waiving the administrative fee. We'll set your case on this Monday, the uh, 28th in felony court. Good luck to you, sir. Yes, wingman. The 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 old man with the shovel that they said was the killer on Home Alone. That guy does look like him. You're, that's a good that's a good spot on get. So we really didn't get to find out what he did. We just know he is wanted. Wanted, dead or alive, in Virginia. Also, keep an eye on this door over here. This one right here, one o two, or one yeah, one o two. What is your name, sir? Arthur Crabtree. What did Mr. Crabtree do? I faxed his over. Yeah, I've got it. Back. I've got it. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Crabtree, you have the following charges. Possession with intent to sell a Schedule One controlled substance, a B felony. Possession with intent to sell methamphetamine, a B felony. Possession of a weapon by a convicted felon, a C felony. And criminal trespass, a C misdemeanor. I'm not asking whether you agree with those charges, but do you understand what you've been charged with? Yeah. Well, they you take your, your shoes. Right, you have the right to remain silent. No one can force you to say anything about these charges if you give up that right. Anything you do say may be used against you in court. You have the right to have an attorney represent you if you cannot afford one. Winner. I can appoint one to represent you, and you have the right to have a preliminary hearing on these charges. 
where a judge would listen to evidence and determine whether there's probable cause for the charges to be prosecuted. You understand those rights? Yes. Can you raise your right hand for me, please? And you swear firm the answers you gave on your affidavit? Are no, you're still wearing handcuffs. I didn't. Thanks, sir. That's a uh, that's new. This guy still got handcuffs on, or just put them on one. Oh, uh, he must be still fighting them, even. Uh... This we point. definitely do not see people come up here and yeah, shout. Yeah, I got somebody locked up in here with me. That was on that should be on the same case. I don't know how you guys feel about that. I'm sorry, what? I got somebody in here with that's locked up. That'd be probably getting a public defender too. So. Oh, okay. Um, Why not? Yeah, the, the computer tells me whether there's a co-defendant connected. All right. I had but somebody locked up with me. Appreciate. She's she's wearing a red outfit, faux hawk. Jeez, they're uh, co-defendants. I wonder if we could get a uh, chisel you one. Three years. Ooh, same as her. Um, Mikey, we got Judge George. Let's jump to that. We can pause this and came come back to us. No problem. You deprive the owner of property valued less than one thousand dollars. Obtain or exert control over said property without consent of the owner or one authorized to consent. Contrary to section 2913.02 of the revised code, and Mr. Hey, Bob Lowe. Bob Lowe. is commonly known as theft. Maximum penalty for theft is 180 days in jail and a $1,000 fine. Do you have any questions about that charge? Um, does it say where it was from? Because Ace, I wasn't. Uh, Ace Hardware. Is it a young Marine? Yeah, I've never honestly been to an Ace Hardware plea, so I would definitely like to enter a uh, plea of not guilty. Okay. He is the um, cleanest, yeah, also, nicest wait, looking would be so kind to give man in all of licking. Okay, where do you live? 967, that is Davis Avenue, okay. Newark. Well Ohio, spoken, even. 43055. Yeah. This guy's in the wrong courtroom. How'd you get picked up? Um, honestly, I was at a rest stop um, and a state highway <laughs> patrol officer. I was like taking a nap. I had been driving for a while and a state highway patrol knocked on my window and just told me to step out of my vehicle. I mean, I was asleep this morning. Okay. Not that there's anything wrong with um, That's how I got picked up. I wasn't doing anything. Violating. Hanging out at a rest stop, Your Honor. Oh, don't believe that's against the law. I had, no, okay. yeah, I had no idea about this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm a little surprised they didn't issue you a summons. That's really uh, nothing he just said makes any sense for him being arrested. Uh, he's never been in Ace right. Hardware. He was sleeping at a rest stop. None of that makes any sense. Wrongly accused, perhaps? <laughs> maybe maybe they couldn't prove what he was really there for, JG. And, uh, uh, you, I was there repairing a bathroom stall. Uh, there was a hole this big. It should have been this big. But why are there... Uh, why, why, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but why are there texts talking about you wanting to get hammered? I don't understand. Looking for love in all the wrong places. Thank you. He seems like a together guy, though. I mean, he is the most well-spoken, cleanest-looking dude we've had in here in a very long time. Uh, oh, should wow. I... Uh... Should I go to the one uh, park where they back in and do a live stream from there and just see how many people are backed in? I have a complaint here charged with domestic violence. Did you receive a call? Oh, oh no, domestic violence. I did, Your Honor. Okay. Do you need me to read that to you today? Um, no, Your Honor. Okay. The maximum penalty is 180 days in jail and a $1,000 fine. Do you have any questions about that charge? No, Your Honor. Okay. How would you like to plead today? Guilty. I would like to plead not guilty, Your Honor. Okay, you this charge. Your bond today? Um, it was an act of self-defense. Everybody in the house was, uh, everybody that was included in the incident had put their hands on me prior with hands on anybody else. A whole house full of violence was ensued by my brother. 
Um, he lunged at me and started throwing punches at me. And in defense, I started pushing him and punching him back until he laid he went off. like this. That was the fight. Hello, Gregzy. Looks like a nice uh, round of candidates there uh, that haven't licensed their dog sitting in the pews today. Yeah, we've got quite a few uh, in-persons. That, uh, I don't know, maybe he should be charging other people if that's the case. Yeah, by the way, Chris, so there's this one park uh, in Myrtle Beach, and it's uh, on, on Ocean Boulevard, and... It's kind of fun because you can see people pull in and they they literally back their vehicles in and that's how you know I guess. Let's uh, go. Have you spoken to your mother yeah. since uh, last night? I am not, Your Honor. Okay. Were you brought in last night? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Well, we're waiting. Uh, did everybody else hear that? Uh, Mikey played one earlier, and I can't hear it. Uh, I'm wondering Somewhere if there's... Stay. Hmm. Where's that? It is with my grandparents who okay. live on... Hey, Dolly lives with his grandparents. Dolly. Uh, they live on 9750 Dresden Road. I'm not privy. You couldn't hear the biscuits one? That one was so Oh, the biscuits. Loud. We heard the biscuits. I heard the biscuits. Okay. There was one other one. I would advise you to do that. I'm going to order the no violent contact with Tristan Moorhead. You understand that? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. You need a court appointed attorney to get that paperwork filed over. Yeah, I knew what he was going to say. Released, okay? Well. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Thank you. Just wondering if it's. Uh... I mean, it very well could be on my end. That's why I asked. Because. <laughs> Yellow. Fighting up in the house, Sue. Okay, nah, we're a judge, George. This hearing is being recorded. Anything you say can be used against you in the future. You have a right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, you can apply for one today. <laughs> I call your name, have a seat at the table. We'll go over your charge and your plea, and then you need to go to the clerk's office. Do not leave today without checking out at the clerk's office. As I said, you have a right to an attorney. Excuse you, you Judge right George. To, uh, bail and a right to a jury trial. Any demand for jury trial must be made in writing. <laughs> Next case is 22 TRD 9076, State of Ohio versus um, Rak uh, Rakaya Karium. Uh, nailed, nailed it. it. <laughs> Good Karium. job. Kareem. Kareem, so so close. Uh, Dallas Alice, that might be lunch today. How do, how do you mess up Kareem? Okay. All right, hang on to that. What do you have driving privileges for? Um, basically, just driving over to the same thing. Okay. That was Always love it. You got uh, <coughs> privileges on? Somebody's got a uh, revoked license, and he says, how'd you get here today? Yeah. I drove myself. <laughs> I love how much he butchered that name just like we would. <laughs> All right, yeah, well, and then it's from October 19, charging you with driving under suspension. You receive a copy of that ticket. Yes. Okay. Uh, the maximum penalty for that offense is uh, 30 days in jail and a $250 fine. Charlie, I can questions about that charge. I, I can change uh, words three times, and it still won't. <laughs> okay. Um, how would you like to plead to that offense today? Guilty? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. You understand that a guilty plea is a complete admission of your guilt? Yes, yeah, so I didn't understand like the non consent. Non consent. No contest, please. I'm sorry. No contest. Oh, uh, no yeah. contest. Oh, no contest. Uh, no contest uh, means uh, you would agree to the, the it's fact basically guilty. Guilt. Uh, Without admitting. Facts in the ticket and the complaint and the police report were sufficient to convict you, I'd find you guilty if you pled no contest. Uh, basically, people plead no contest when there's a civil liability issue involved. So you don't want your plea held against you in a civil suit. That's generally Getting sued down the people. line. I like to admit guilt necessarily, and they'll do it then as well. Uh, okay. So basically, admitting uh, guilt, um, that would result in, in jail? 
Uh, well, the maximum penalty is, like I said, 30 days and $250 fine. Um, Which you'll never get. I mean, you do have several convictions here in the last uh, two years. Especially during the holidays. Uh, mm -hmm. I recent one um, for this one, mm -hmm. back in like 2017 and 2018. But the only one I have is from, um, I believe, February or January. Okay, I'll miss it here. Make sure I got the right thing. Uh, I have... It looks like in March you had a conviction for uh, no driver's license. Um, Good question. And for Only it smells. driving under suspension. And Cambridge. Yeah, the, are no those all women? The, the driving under suspension was in Cambridge. Freaking, uh, all Cambridge. unlicensed and dogs. There was one in 2020 out of Franklin County. Well. How dare you talk and about no those driver's women license that late? Miami Bird. <laughs> So the most, um, recent one. Oh my God! Look at the guy passed out, or woman, or whatever it is, holding a baby. Oh wow! Yeah, They're both uh, yeah, napping. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Those those all happened in 2018. It looks like, except for your no driver's license charge. Right. That right. happened in February. Yeah. So okay. So those were all from four years ago, basically. <laughs> okay. You did jail time for the Cambridge one. Okay. All right. Any other questions today? Afternoon. Okay. Good afternoon. To Is that what you wanted to do? Okay. You, under you understand the it's a complete admission of your guilt? Yeah, it's okay. the one that looks like this. Uh, yes. Okay. The one that looks like she may have right passed right. away. Yes. Okay. You understand you're waving your Oh, right she's right. awake oh, now. She's, she's, right. she's just nodding off. Okay. Uh, say something. God bless. Sure to say something. Sure to say something. Driving under suspension. Um, this suspension that you were charged with is uh based on not uh based on money, money that you owe cambridge for, for for uh for your i assume for that last that ticket uh, no, you, uh she needs to pay her fines she yeah if she just do that she'd be in the clear the march 10. greg see we got this little toy it's one of the only actual cat toys that our cats play with and it's just this little thing and it's got a little hole inside and they knock it around and, and just little treats fall out okay she's so soft-spoken so yeah. hey mary okay well that's yeah, sorry i got it cranked up in this case with um there was a, there there were also you also have non-compliance suspensions that are still open which are uh, insurance suspensions oh. they didn't charge you with that though that they could have Gotcha. So, you can so you can drive. I can't drive right now. Um, I went to Probably not. How much is parking? I, can I keep I mean, my I car out? I can check the BMV and tell you what's going it's on. It's the women of licking today. Website. Yes, because I have to get um, <clears throat> Yeah, you need an SR22 before the BMV will let you drive. Right, yes. I How much do you think she owes? Two dollars. Cash. When did you do that? Um. November 7th. Okay. okay. So that was after this. That's, that's why I couldn't see if that had happened. I don't know why that made me laugh. All right. Okay. Okay. You have. I terminated. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, looks like you have limited privileges on. There's no way she can drive, right? I mean, I don't know why it's saying. Okay. I mean, she's not even paying her fines. She has all these non compliances. County suspensions, maybe. Does that sound right? Um, yes, they said I'm allowed. Is, it, is that from Franklin County? Yeah. Okay. It's probably something they could be easily have taken care of, but it's snowballed mm -hmm. at this point. Okay, yep. Hey, Chris. Chris. And I have to um, carry this paper. Huh? Happy Thanksgiving okay. to you as well. Make sure you have your uh, SR22 then. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm not showing any oh, other. So she hasn't been paying insurance either. Have, um, yeah. No insurance. No nothing. On, on the, uh, Around here, they come get your tags for that. Oh yeah, uh, you will 
the DMV will give you another non-compliance suspension for this ticket because you, unless you have proof of insurance for October 19th, right. do you have that? Nah. Did you have insurance on October Come on. 19th? Call the general. Okay. you have that with you today? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, you'll want to show that to the clerk. Why do you show up for court without the things you need? The clerk's office isn't going to be open the rest of the week. So you, um, I don't know if the DMV is open on Friday or not. Or if you can get it down there today, that would be the thing to do. Uh, although they won't have the ticket today, so I'll probably you'd probably want to go uh, Friday or next week. Um, so they might not be able to help you until. Bonjour. Might not get it today. Bonjour, mon ami. But they will suspend you again if you don't have proof of insurance. So you have to get that cleared up, okay? Okay. And for also, I seen it. Violation instead of having you get suspended well, I'm not suspending you. The BMV is going to suspend. Lady with the baby's gonna have an attitude when she comes up. I can just see it now. Okay, so if you I'm show that baby ain't crying, another suspension. I'm just gonna. I'll find you. Like I said, I find you guilty. Um, and since you're, <laughs> since you have privileges, you got to all take care of. I'm just gonna impose court costs today. Okay. All right. Any other questions? He's basically just passing her on down to the DMV. Like, yeah. You need to deal with her. She's clogging up the system. No need for all this. Lukey? Yeah. Lukey? I try. Oh, Lukey here. My name is Lukey. I live on the second floor. I have a ticket from the 17th charging you with driving under suspension and a uh, right of way violation. Did you receive a copy of that ticket? Yeah. The right of way or stop sign violation um, is a maximum penalty of one hundred fifty dollars fine. You are gonna say guilty to running a stop sign? Um, I would. It can't be that much, right? Well, one fifty just said maximum. Has a maximum penalty of thirty days in jail and a two hundred fifty dollars fine. So he'll probably waive that twenty five bucks to pay court costs. How would you like to plea today? Okay. Not you understand guilty. that a guilty plea is a oh a guilty. I thought she said not guilty. Like, oh, are you kidding me? I understand you're waiving your right to an attorney today. Oh, all right. That's correct. Trial either to a jury. Or or a okay. Accept your guilty plea. Excuse guilty. my steps. Uh, looks like you had one Look in here. February and one in August. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So you have fines you need to pay here. And in Granville, it looks like that's like the uh, that get reinstated and that stream on Twitch. We watch all those people that run the that stop sign. You know what's going on with your license? Okay, okay, okay. Well, you had an OVI. Oh back no! Back in 2020, it looks like. Oops. Um, well, you know you're on a call, over, but you have to get your license reinstated at the BMV, um, and then you have. Um, Two tickets here that you didn't pay. To paradise. Two, two fines that you didn't pay here, and one in Granville, in Granville Mayor's Court. So you pay those, and then you go get reinstated on those as well at the BNP. Okay. Uh, so that's what you need to do. You can't be driving around without a license. At some point, I gotta send you to jail for that. Okay. All right. If you need help figuring out what you need to do, you can stop and make an appointment in the probation department. We have an officer down there who helps people navigate the BNB stuff. Okay. It looks to me for you, it's probably just a financial thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Edward, that was. Okay. That was a day. All Never right. Forget. Uh, Never forget. Nine dollars on the right away. One, two, three, one seventy-five in court costs on the suspension. Lots of. Pretty hefty fine for Licking County. Get your license back if you can, okay? Get your license back. And you know she's uh, driving home. She drove there. Yeah, she drove herself there. She's driving home. (laughs) Get proof of insurance with you today. Okay. Oh. You're going to get some for that. Don't bring that and show it. That's good. So you might have to get down to the DMV since it's a holiday. It's going to make it complicated. You might have to get down there next week. I'm going to reserve jurisdiction for. Uh, mm. I'd wait till the next Tracy. week because my God. I don't need money for damage to the other vehicle. It's okay? gonna be crazy there. Slap nuts. Next matter is 22 CRB 1712 State of Ohio versus Shauna. 
Bonite, Bonite. Oh my God, he is terrible with names. He's, okay. Okay. Um, looks like you signed for your mail, but you didn't appear in court here. Yeah. So um, I'm actually I have a couple questions for okay. you, or if I could just explain my side. Go ahead. So for this charge, and I do remember this night. Okay. Um, the cop did let me go and said I was free to go. Mm -hmm. They never detained me. They never took me to jail. They never yeah. uh, cited me with anything. Well, they um, did cite you. They, they so you got to come to you. court. Yeah, my, I didn't have my mail key. I didn't get okay. one. So I would have definitely been here. I don't have a criminal record. Didn't have, have a mail key. Or... No, I know. Okay. I, like, no mail so I got key. it after the fact okay. because okay. I needed to get a new mail key. After the date of the hearing? He just let me go and told me I was good. Okay. Okay, so you did receive those complaints? I, yes, I well, have it Okay, right once for resisting, once for obstruction, and once for disorderly conduct. You yes. need me to read and those you did. to you? What? Okay. Um, Who's... Is, uh, or my response to you. Um, they said that they tried to serve me on October 31st for a summons. Um, I was home all day because I do homeschool my kids. I recently quit my job. My husband is a sole provider now. Mm -hmm. uh, so all that, and they don't lock you up. No one knocked on my door, and I was home all day. Um, and then they sent this paper, and I didn't. Yeah, the summons was sent by the is the certified mail. That's, that's I saw that. Okay. The dude's a longtime employee of Walmart too. He's yeah, he's disgruntled. Came to my door on October thirty first. Oh, they did. Okay. This is what the cop said to me. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. No, no, I just uh, I'm I'm giving my hands a few days off. It's an artist thing, Ed. I'm not sure what's going on. And on this paper, too, my social is incorrect. Okay. Well. well, let me start here. Let me uh, start is she looking for a technicality, Creed? Penalty of 90 days in jail. So Angela, let, let me know how it goes, too. The other two, uh, the instruction. They are the same, fun. Same penalties as, as that. 90 days, 70, 750. <laughs> this early conduct has a maximum penalty of 30 days, 250. Um, do you have any questions about actual charges? Yes. No. Okay. Hey. Hey. Good contact. to see you. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. You understand I'd find you guilty today if you put no contest. I'm sorry, you understand Big drinking night tonight, Lisa B. No You're right. You Based Stay on home. Report, if the facts in the police report are sufficient to convict you of those charges, I would find you guilty. Okay. Did you want to plead not guilty um, and talk to an attorney or something? I, <laughs> I have to go home. Yeah. Okay, sorry, arrested that night. Yeah. They don't, depending on the <laughs> severity of what happened, that they don't always arrest you. Throw back to the beginning. But even if they say Look at that beautiful callback. Yeah, that based on what happened that night, that what they'll do is they'll send over the police report. And, I mean, those charges to for her to say he was like, I was fine to just go, no charges. Yeah, no. Those are, all seem like arrestable yeah, charges. It always happen that they arrest you. And, uh, you know. okay. I would imagine. If they don't think you're going to hurt anybody or, you know, you you can be separate. I'd imagine they give you some sort of paperwork or something, sign something, something right? Something. You're gonna something. come to court, okay. even with warnings to do that. Yeah, they don't. Everybody. The way she's acting, uh, the cop just walked up to her, leaned in the window, and was like, "We've got Bush." <laughs> uh, I, I'm just asking. If you don't know what's going on, you should plead not guilty today, okay? And talk to an attorney. I have no idea what's going on here. Is she just running a game here? Yeah, she's absolutely. Come back and represent yourself and talk to the prosecutor. She the she wanted to come time. here looking nice and flirty you a little bit with the judge, maybe, and get it thrown do you out. Understand what the charges are? I do. It's resisting arrest, mm -hmm. obstruction of official business. Wild See women them, Wednesday today, love. And boy, are they wild. Extra holiday edition wild. Oh, oh, she's going to cry, Creed. I'm sorry. I'm like, I don't know what to do. Okay. If you don't know what to do, I would emotional. speak to an attorney. Okay. Um, I do like that she's saying she, yeah, I, exactly. Remember she's yeah, saying, uh, this is the first time I've ever been in trouble. You could also apply for the diversion program. I like how, how he asked, uh, you understand yeah. what your charges are, and then she yeah. just said, yeah. so she just never been convicted said every one of them. Uh-huh. Well, what would happen there is, I don't know what's going on. This big world of law and order confused me. What are you doing using your big school words? Just use normal people words and I'll understand what you're talking about. If you complete it successfully, the charges are dismissed. Uh, but you do have to plead guilty in that instance. So you can you can talk to an attorney about that or you can just consider that on your own. Uh, if you want to do that, 
you can apply for that. And, uh, yeah, those can be fun uh, too. Set up an appointment with the probation officer to very dirty. Qualify for convert. Pay by they the pound. Fun. Yeah, you pay by the pound. Guilty yeah. today. I'm going to set a sentencing That's great. hearing. Different price for electronics, uh, for clothing. Can give a recommendation to what they think. It's fun. Sentence will be. I'll let you talk, and, and I'll decide what your sentence is going to be. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just wait to the camera because I can't hide it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, but Emily stopping by the liquor store. Grab some of that uh, peanut okay. butter. Uh, you understand that a guilty plea is a complete whiskey. admission of your guilt to these offenses. I do not miss drinking. Okay. You don't think you would want to be on diversion? I might need to to make it through this dismissed. weekend. <laughs> if I don't do diversion, it goes on my name. Yeah, this, these these charges will be uh, on uh, yeah on your record. I think she's thinking about. She did. Oh, that she done, lost this diversion. whole charade. Okay. Okay. Yeah, she's she's thinking yeah. back now. I didn't I didn't get out of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. You understand you're waiving your right to an attorney today? Yes, sir. You understand that's a complete admission of your guilt? Yes, sir. Okay. The old bat trap. And you're waiving your right to a trial, either to a jury And I hate court. liquor, Vincent. I mean, hate liquor. At a trial, you'd be able to call witnesses to testify on your behalf, subpoena witnesses really to good. force them to appear here and testify. And present evidence on Smart. your own behalf. You understand you're giving up those rights today. Yes, I also understand you're giving up the right to cross-examine or question any witnesses the state would have against you. Yes, and finally, I understand you're giving up the right that the state proved beyond a reasonable doubt you did in fact commit. Time crime. to have a uh, yard sale, Dallas Ellis. Based on that, I'll accept your guilty plea. All that just to turn around now and say hey, she's Chris. guilty, Chris. That's exactly what she did, Chris. She, she thought for uh, sure she was going to be able to talk her way yeah. out of this. Yeah. Business and resisting arrest. Yeah. And I'm going to um, – I'll set a sentencing hearing. Yeah. <laughs> she thought for sure she had that nail. I'll release you on your own recognizance today, so you just need to show up at your sentencing she, hearing. She didn't play Any that. questions about that? Good at all, really. Nah. Uh, especially with her knowing all the charges the way that she did, and then uh, the the excuses were. He 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 put that little uh, post-it note on there and wrote, "She tried to lie and draw. Look at her checking her out, boy. Yeah, she did. I saw that. Judge George knew what was up. Knew what was up. She... That's a licking twelve, by the way. I uh, no doubt she was trying to make up some stories there. I, I it, yeah, it, you know." I didn't know uh, what happened. I was told I I didn't have any charges. She tried everything and anything, uh, and it just did, did not work out for her. These two cases for your driving under yep. suspension charges. Probably better. Uh, Probably best. Your, but it is good. The the other day. Okay. All right. Um, now nah, going to the beach. Uh, oh, the baby's about to cry. Green. I, I heard that. About, I can't change your charges. The prosecutor would have to do that with my uh, wife's family. Um, you want these reset for trial? It'll be fun. Okay. Where are you living? Oh, you're at New Beginnings now. Okay. I don't mind so much okay. going there. Uh, is she to homeless? I think I forwarded your New Beginnings. I would imagine this. Uh, oh. Are not. But, uh, She's breaking my heart. Um, so at your next to hearing, you'll have a chance to talk to the prosecutor. Uh, if you want to reapply for an attorney, looks like it's a church. Today, okay. okay. What's that? You want to plead guilty today? You can do that if you want. I mean, you won't send me to jail with a baby, do. will you, Your Honor? Okay. All right. You understand there is mandatory minimum jail time, right? <gasps> okay. Okay. Oh. The next hearing. You can do that today. If you want to plead guilty today, I'll, I'll give you a report date. Okay. Is that what you want to do? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So I have two charges for driving under um, OVI suspension. Um, She's seated, going to jail. Seatbelt. No, I just hate Myrtle Beach. And I hate yeah, leaving my house, to be honest with you, T. License plate display. I just don't. One Me and Cree both have horrible agoraphobia. I, I'd lived there for a very long time, and okay. I just I don't need to go. You want to plead guilty to those charges today? Okay. You understand that a guilty plea is a complete admission of your guilt. Yes, sir. You understand by pleading guilty today, you're waiving your right to an attorney. Yes. 
You also understand you're waiving your right to a trial. Well, if she is homeless, she found another place she can stay for a while, Mikey. At a trial. Yeah, she, what about the poor baby? Testify on your behalf. Subpoena witnesses to force them to appear here and testify. And present evidence on your own. And there's mandatory minimum. So. You're also giving up the right to question. There's no leniency. The state would have against you. And finally, you understand you're giving up the right to have the state prove. I can't imagine living my life exactly. knowing that at some point you're going to jail. Way, I have to go to jail for X amount. Are you on OBI probation? It would make me nuts. I was never on you were never on probation for OBI. Where was your OBI? Um, Franklin. Franklin County. I did a three day program. Okay. In Franklin County. Okay. Yeah. okay. That makes sense. All right. Oh, you play, you gotta pay, guys, guys please, unfortunately. Uh, being voluntarily and intelligent. I made, love Turkey. You rarely get into any kind of trouble if you keep your ass at the house. You really don't. So when I'll you go it. out places, you get in trouble. Oh, here comes the. Oh. Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought that okay. was bringing in to take her away. Yeah. Oh, God. It might be. Oh, well, is your mom oh, no. going to jail? Just check it out, the little baby. Yeah, I thought the same thing there for a second. Oh, that's getting We've sick. seen it before. It kind of made my stomach sick. That, was, that lady has a baby and she's going to jail. It's tough. I believe it was said by, uh, was it Benjamin Franklin or maybe Roosevelt? His words are this, Creed. It's hard out here for a pimp. You go out to the streets, you make your bed, you got to lie in it. It's just the way it is. Pamela, tons of legs over here. What did they say she did? I, I, I'm I, sorry, Brittany. I completely forgot. Who, this lady? Yeah. She has two more OVIs. That's it. Even though, it, it, I guess, in reality, once she, she pleads guilty to these, she'll have three OVIs. Good luck on the buses today, T. It's good to see your daughter, though. That's cool. Okay. But you learn so much on a bus. July 14, 2021 ticket. Uh, $9 for the license plate display. $9? Oh. $250 court costs. And Ooh. three days in jail on the uh, driver suspension charge. On the uh, June 2021 case. Uh, $24 of speeding, $30 of the seatbelt. They don't say. $250 in court costs and three days in jail on the OBI suspension charge. Six days. Is that it? And um, no fine on the other suspension charge. Any questions about that? Look at Stay you. <laughs> I say hallelujah. The man gets a raise. Next thing you know, it's raining money cream. Uh, what's what's can you get your license taken care of now? Thank you, Jason. Shut up! Rachel. Sorry, Judge. <laughs> What's that? The suspensions are over. Yeah. Okay. She's going to jail. Uh, like Thank you so much, Jason. Okay. Um, I also have to suspend your license on these. I'm sorry. I forgot uh, to tell you that. Oh. Um, <laughs> I, it, I, mean, it may, I mean, obviously, but it's funny how he just threw that in at the end, though. After all that. Yeah, when it rains, it pours. On these suspensions, you can. Um, but, yeah. So, um, I'm guessing he gave her the bare minimum. Um, I mean, the court costs, I thought he said, was too, too fitty. I'll do, I'll do six months. Um, hey, I wouldn't put it past. You're not valid now. I wouldn't put it past anybody trying that kind of stuff. So I'll start oh, I would. I would. Uh, we'll see how this next one is. If it's kind of, eh, we'll so jump back to Knox and, and um, finish that one, right? Uh, yeah, we'll finish that guy. Yeah, yeah. All right. And uh, they'll they'll give you ninety days to pay. If you need more time, you can you can write three dollars a month forever. All right, you give him a date. Uh, you can do that six days. Don't drive. Okay, home. so she she gets the pick when she goes to do her time. Okay. Maybe they'll let her do like weekends or something. 
Facebook. She's got another court date on the 29th. Oh my God. What's your name? Amanda Woods. Dick Harris, let's work on that and go to Shark Tank. Or for you, actually, I believe it's that other one, a Dragon's Den. Oh, I almost said Dragon's Lair, but that is a fantastic game from the 80s. That's my 22 CRB 1762. 22 CRB 1205, Steve Ohio versus Amanda Borgerson. Amanda Hug and Kiss. Bring her on over. Borgerson, I have two she got a kid. Four. Oh, the kid's uh, one for fair kids in the chair. One for fair to find dog. And I also have a complaint for fair. All right, Judge George, have a great uh, Thanksgiving. Back to <laughs> Knox County. Going to wrap it up with this guy and then uh, oh, get ready for Wild Worm and Wednesday. Uh, we got a chase. Uh, I love that. Uh, uh, brought the kid with her about the dog. Failure to license a child. It was, it was pretty good though. We went pretty long without a. What's in the matrix? By the way, somebody mentioned uh, in the chat Chumley. <laughs> yeah, hey, I can see that. I definitely can see that. Well, especially look, after all those. The, uh, the guy on the bench is leaving. Look. Oh my God. Oh, it's he has been deleted. Uh, wait, there's somebody up. I think there was somebody above the stairs, too. Hey, look, that guy's got as many legs as Mikey. No, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy does it. Easy does it. Back up on that. Remember, Chum Lee went through that thing where, you know, he wasn't on drugs and stuff. Remember how white his teeth were? It looked very different. Yeah, and the big like chompers? Oh, uh, I, I am so sick of this cold, cold weather, by the way. We've had two nice days, thank you. I it's about, it's about down 60 today. here today. Okay, Mr. 60. Crabtree, you've been RR'd on the criminal trespass. Your bond on each of the felony drug charges is 15000 Ho <laughs> ho! weapons charge 68 today. 15K, holy on each one. Oh wow. Jesus Did he have Christ. like a pharmacy? I mean he, Yeah, I was like, oh that's a that's not bad. You're uh, he's uh, ORing you. Boy, that escalated quickly. Yeah. Then 15 G's per charge. Ten thousand. My math is correct. That makes your total bond forty thousand. Wow. It looks like attorney Julia Trant had represented you most recently. It looks like we need to know, do you like dark meat or white meat? Waiving the administrative fee. <laughs> and your cases will be Big set this Monday the 28th in felony court for a bond hearing. If you're not able to bond out before then, the judge will reconsider your bond Monday morning. If you do bond out before then, that's fine. They'll give you a new court date, though. That'll be out a few weeks. Oh, he's not lucky, sir. No, he's not going anywhere. And he knows it's, it. Uh, it don't matter who yeah. Was. yeah, you could see it on his face when he just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're 68 degrees today. Absolutely beautiful. It, it hasn't been. Uh, it's been. Uh, uh, yeah, walk down oh, oh. Hold on. Somebody's coming up. Just right. splitting anybody. Back Two at hits, you. And then, uh, yeah, he knows what's up. My man. He's one of those people in the news that you can't understand. Is he flashing gang signs? No, man. He's letting the ladies know what's up. That's how he rolls. I'm sorry. It's 64 here right now. Where is that one? He uh, watching a grass fire somewhere? What's your name, sir? Roy Myers. Buyers. Yeah. Okay. That's how I looked into 102. Not today. Where's Judge Marbell? Charges, criminal trespass, a C misdemeanor, and evading arrest, an A misdemeanor. I'm not asking whether you agree with the charges, but you understand what you've been charged with. Gosh, that's 
You need to go over your rights. You have the right to remain well, silent. Well, no one can force you to say anything about what, these charges. If you give up that right, anything you do say may be used against you in court. Oh, you have the right. right to have an attorney represent you if you cannot afford one. If there's a cabinet for going to represent you. I mean, and you have the right to have a preliminary hearing on these charges where a judge would listen to evidence and determine whether there is probable cause for the charges to be prosecuted. Do you understand those rights? And can you raise your right hand for me, please? Do you swear from the answers you gave on your affidavit are true? Yes. Thank you. How long have you lived in Knoxville? Thank you. Somebody's right. cleaning the windows on the top floor. Oh yeah, or he's just he's just waving, Mike. He's not cleaning. He's waving. Oh okay. That's how you wave in jail. I'd get with it, bro. Tidying up for holidays might be company coming in. <laughs> yes. Oh, somebody moving in. Man, I'd be We're so scared out. to be here. Oh, I'd be so scared. Mr. Byers, you're not eligible to be uh, released to pre-trials uh, because of some recent charges. Uh -oh. Your bail on the criminal trespass is going to be $250. On the evading <laughs> arrest, $500. So your total bail is $750. Yeah, so it'd be $75, roughly $75 plus a bondsman's fee for you to bond out. But... However, you can't be. Uh. No. <laughs> I'm appointing attorney David Poss to represent you, waiving the administrative fee. And your cases will be set this Monday in misdemeanor court for a bond hearing. If you're able to bond out before then, that's fine. They'll give you a new court date. That'll be out a few weeks if you do. Good okay, so he can bond out. I mean, it seemed like he couldn't. Yeah, it sounded. <sighs> well, Creed, I guess we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. I uh, think, uh, yeah, I think so. Let's do it. Well, <laughs> let's, see. let's do one more and then we'll go. One more. Got Twist in my arm. Just because it's such a great crowd today, we'll give you one extra time. Fine, one time. more. He loves his hair, by the way. Uh, calling out right here, the whole time. Do. Hey, you have beautiful hair. I mean, he's constantly touching it. He, he cannot get it the way he wants. What's wanted. your name, sir? Ryan. Ryan Bell. Bell, no, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure they do. Oh, yeah, absolutely. 100%. Mr. Bell, you have the following charges. You have two counts of vandalism, over 2,500, but less than 10,000 in damages. That guy. Each of those are D felonies. And then like him? one count of... Can he? Can we talk to him, please? I, I, I'm sorry. I hate dudes. I got to, yeah, I, he's got some good charge. He he really does. But watch him come out of the cell. I mean, we see him stirring. Is he? I mean, is he? Mr. Bell, you have the following charges. You have two counts of vandalism, over 2,500, but less than 10,000 in damages. <laughs> Each of those are D felonies. He's like a real big Stevie and Wonder. One count of. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh. I'm going to hell, but. Yeah. That was funny. Uh, those of you who are wondering, this is what you get in burglary. Mm, nice. The Christmas tip. Um, and that is. I really want one. Uh, listed as a D felony, that charge. Man, he's got some, not, this guy's so got some charges. Felonies. I'm not asking whether you agree with those charges, but do you understand what you've been charged with? You need to go over your rights. You have the right to remain silent. No one can force you to. Oh, it's a, oh, it's listed as an attempted aggravated burglary. Uh, that last one. Oh, uh, attempted. 
He didn't. And, uh, he didn't finish. You know, the right to remain silent. No one can force you to say anything about your charges. If you give up that right, anything you do say may be used against you in court. You have the right to have an attorney represent you. If you cannot afford one, I can appoint one to represent you. And you have the right to have a preliminary hearing on these charges where a judge would listen to evidence and determine whether there is probable cause for the charges to be prosecuted. Do you understand those rights? Oh. Can you raise your right hand for me, please? And you this will be a pretty big bond. The answers that you gave on your affidavit yeah. are true. Thanks, sir. How long have you lived in Knoxville? Uh, I live in LC. I'm sorry? I live in LC. LT? Hang on, I can't hear you. What's LT? Yeah, it's very low. LC? Say it L one more time. I said I live in Lenore City. Lenore City, okay. How long have you, you lived did? there? You said that? LC is what he was saying. How long have you lived there? It's like somebody asking Creed, where do you live? He's like, all right. I said it's nice up there, kind of. How long have you lived there? Thank you, Alex. Eight, eight, nine years. Okay. LC. Got it. We're learning. I'm guessing, by the way, you wouldn't see that guy looking at the room because he's already got himself a room. I would yeah, imagine. He, yeah, he's probably already been arranged. Although he's home for the holidays. He is too. Uh, yeah, he's a, he's in trouble. Hard typing. It's like every time he touches his head, he's surprised there's hair there. He's like, oh, whoa, what is that? <laughs> it looks like you're going to pull off a wig. Ha ha, it was me all along. Man, well, you have one of the transportation officers that one of the vans up or backed up. They are both about to leave right now. Thank you. Well, I uh, while we wait to find out on uh, Bond, I want to say thank you to Iowa golfer Lisa Flusha. Flusha times two, by the way. Mayor Dallas Alice and Jason Orton Lee, 91 Bravo. I appreciate you guys very much. I figured I'd put up his handle in his, uh, his YouTube, oh, I believe. Yeah. Uh, don't forget 405 East. Final one of the week. We got a taste. Wild Worm and Wednesday. Any uh, highlights? Any, any, it's a uh, doozy. We got a lady who's doing over 100 miles per hour in a chase with a four-year-old in the car. And the oh, nice. excuse she's going to give you will blow your mind. Dun, dun, dun. As well as, uh, yeah, we got some uh, Nye County in there. You know, the usual suspects. I wish I uh, worked a keyboard as good as he does. Please enter your security. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Somebody getting rowdy, rowdy, and bowdy, bowdy? <laughs> I like the... Uh, I, I wish we could keep that live. Uh, I, I love listening to them uh, talk. Do you think there's ever up. really an excitement here, though? <laughs> oh, there he is. is. He's going back. He's going back, and he's uh, holding I, his head down. I just got like, with his hand. Yeah, he come back just fine. But Whatever was wrong, he got it fixed. Like they would seen the chiropractor. They got one of those there. Can I, I need to get my neck popped. Any chance for that? Oh, I got a cush ball. Hi, Magister. Please, just tell us already. I, very you busy messed, day here. You messed up. Wait a minute. We're prepped. I think that means we're uh, towards the end. Oh, I thought maybe the floor waxer was coming through. It's so loud. It really is. I have a feeling this young man will be spending Thanksgiving here as well. Right. It's going to have himself a tenner. Okay. 
I would love to know what the guy in uh, 103 did. Yeah. That, uh... Mr. Bell, your <laughs> bail on each of the vandalisms is $2,000. Mm. And on the uh, aggravated burglary, attempted aggravated burglary charge, it's 10000 Each of them with the condition that you have no contact with the alleged victim. Alleged Our victims, total, huh? that being a Tracy Washington, Daniel Bradfield, and Brooklyn Cooper. I'm appointing the Knox County Public Defender's Office to represent you, waiving the administrative fee. You indigent. And your case will be set initially for this Monday, the 28th, in felony court for a bond hearing. If you're unable to bond out before then, the judge will reconsider what your was bond the at total? that time. If you do make bond over the weekend, that's fine. The, they'll give you a new court date. That'll you be didn't say the third charge. Here. was two and two. Good luck to you, sir. That's it. So that's like, our that's our ending. That's our conclusion. Really, that was it. <laughs> Creed, we're not going to stay, but I just want you to see. Remember how big that dude was standing there? Look at this guy. Wow, <laughs> poor dude. <laughs> he's just a little feller. Oh boy, he's going to have. Uh, <laughs> have you guys ever seen a courtroom that has a press box in it? Bring them in. That's only for use for executions. All right, guys. Appreciate you. We'll see you at 405 East for We Got a Chase. Remember, right. this is the last uh, court hearing. Last We Got a Case uh, until Monday. You know, when that dude goes back uh, to <laughs> he goes for his uh, trial. Yeah, we'll have to be there for that. Uh, as well as remembering Wild Woman Wednesday is today. But tomorrow, there will be some holiday special content that will be care. released that you guys can watch. Uh, if you want to see everything, you need to make sure you're over on either the Facebook or the Credence and Bishop Show YouTube channel. If you're only on We Got a Chase, you will miss a little bit of stuff, but not much, but just a little. So is, is there anybody else who wants to say happy holidays or happy Thanksgiving? Good afternoon. I'm District Judge Herman Marable from 67th District Court here in Flint. Yeah, we love you, he, Judge. Where's he at? You think he's in the Bahamas or something? I think he's vacationing. Like, uh, yeah, I, I see him as a single man that is just out and having a good time. I love Judge uh, Herman. Do you think that he has, uh, you know, you know, from the office, uh, you know, like uh, Florida? Uh, yeah, you, you get Florida and, Judge Herman. He's down there, big stogie and car full of warmings. I like to think so, Creed. Drinking peanut butter, whiskey. I like to think so. Uh, we'll see you guys for the next one. Until then. It has Mayor. Yeah.